Hello, in previous videos we've looked at matrices and transformations and we've created the matrices to transformations. Now the question is, can we combine transformations using matrices? Does it work? So let's try out a few, starting with stretches. Okay, so let's start have a first, let's start with the point two one, and we're going to do a stretch uh, scale factor three in the x direction. So p p is going to be a p dash. So that's going to six one, isn't it? Now, what if I did a second stretch in the x direction, scale factor two? Then it would end up at twelve um, one, wouldn't it? So, does that work with matrices? Um, up there, we could see that. Doing our first matrix multiplication, we get to 6, 1, and if we multiply by the second matrix, we've got to remember the order is important here. So we had to do the scale factor 3 first, and then we did the scale factor 2 second. We end up at 12, 1. Let's just see if that actually works in matrix form for all X and Y values. Well, if I take that's my first uh, transformation, that's the times three matrix there, and that's the times two scale factor matrix there. If we multiply those together, I think we can see we get the purple matrix here because we get two zero um, going across, multiplied by the three zero um, column, and so we get a six, wouldn't we? The other, these others going to be zero still, and we do those multiplications, and we end up with the one in that corner there. So all in all, that looks like it works, doesn't it? That one, that if I, if we combine those two, um, if we combine those two stretches in the same direction, we still get the right matrix. Okay, so let's go on and have a look at some reflections. Let's start off with reflection in the x-axis. That's what we're going to start with. And then we're going to apply to the image from that a reflection in the y-axis. So we've started at T1 as an example. If we did the reflection in the x-axis, we'd be at P dash, that'd be 2 minus 1. And then if we do the reflection in the y-axis, we end up at minus 2 minus 1. Um, that's what we expect to happen using geometry, isn't it? If we just did the matrix multiplication, we would end up at minus 2, minus 1. And let's just see what this, let's just have a look at using the matrix, just looking at multiplying those two matrices together. Well, we do end up with the purple matrix minus 1, minus 0, don't we? And that takes us to minus x, minus y. Yep, so 2, 1 went to minus 2, minus 1. Now, if you remember from what we did in GCSE, if we do these two reflections, we actually end up with a rotation around the origin, don't we? And that, that's what we'd expect to see geometrically, and that's what we've got mathematically here, haven't we? Because we've got minus x, minus y. Okay, let's have a look at combining two ro uh, rotations now, yep. So if we start at the point... Uh, zero p here which is let's assume it's one zero yeah um and we rotated by angle theta in the um anti-clockwise way we'd be at p dash wouldn't we excuse me let's get that out of the way it's starting to jump about hasn't it we'd end up at p dash wouldn't we and then if we rotated it again by angle phi we'd end up at p double dash wouldn't we now we probably can see immediately by just looking at that that what we could have done is just rotate point P by angle phi plus theta, yeah, um, to get to P double dash. So given that we already worked out earlier in our work that the matrix for a rotation was this cos sine minus sine cos um, for, uh, with the angle of, of the rotation, we've got for our first rotation here, our first move will be matrix M theta, wouldn't it? It would get us from P to P dash. And then if we applied, M, therefore, the move, a move of a rotation of phi would look exactly the same, wouldn't it, in terms of its matrix format, except we've got phi in there. But if I wanted to go from P to P double dash, I'd actually be applying the rotation m phi plus theta. I've put them in that order because I'm going to do theta first and then I'm going to do phi and that's the way we sort of do um, when we do the matrix multiplication. So actually we should get that matrix there, shouldn't we? 
That's what it should do for us, yeah? And, of course, in matrix, if, if, we, if the matrices work as we're expecting them to, we should just be able to, the, that matrix should be made up of multiplying these two matrices together. So let's see if that works. Okay, so here's our two matrices. We're going to multiply them together. Remember, I'm doing them in the order we applied them. So we did the theta first, and then we did the phi, yeah? So the theta first, so if I had an xy, my xy would be there, wouldn't it? And then I'd multiply it by the theta matrix, and then I'd multiply it by the phi matrix. Well, if I then just multiply these two matrices together to get a single one, I get this matrix here with these four terms, yeah? Um, just to do the top left, just so we can see it. I'd multiply that top column by the left-hand uh, so top row by the left hand column and I would end up with this expression here and if I wanted that lower one here I do the lower column by the lower so row by the um, left hand column and I get this expression here well you should be able to recognize these expressions shouldn't you because we already probably have looked at the combined angle identities and we know that cos of phi plus theta is going to be cos phi cos theta minus sine phi sine theta there we go and if we were interested in sine phi plus theta we'd have sine phi cos theta plus cos phi sine theta i think they probably quote them in your tables with using a and b don't they rather than phi and theta depending on which board you're on it's either phi and theta or it's a and b so again that's doing exactly what we'd expect isn't it we're doing a, a rotation of the combined angle so there we have it. it we um yes we can combine matrices to create a combined transformation but we do have to remember the order because if we do them in different orders we're going potentially going to get different effects and we need to be very careful about that so the combined matrix here, the combined matrix would be if we're doing the M1 transformation first, then we multiply it by the M2 transformation. So they're in the opposite order to the one we might expect. So there you have it. Um, we can combine transformation matrices and they work.